Hi all, let me quickly show you how to use Beto. I'm using Visual Studio Code here and I have installed the Beto plugin and you can see the Beto plugin icon on the left hand side. To open and close the Beto panel, I can click on the Beto icon to open and close it. Once the Beto panel is open, in the Beto panel, I can ask Beto any freeform question. Let me ask it to write the code for bubble sort in Node.js. There you go. You can see Bito generating code for bubble sort in Node.js. At any given instance of time, if you wanted Bito to stop answering the question, you can click on stop generating and it will stop generating the answer at that point in time. Bito also maintains the context. So I can ask Bito to rewrite the same code in Rust by saying rewrite the code in Rust. There you go, you can see it figured out that you had asked it to generate code for bubble sort previously, and then it's rewriting that piece of code in Rust. Let me stop generating the answer here. Bito also provides a lot of shortcuts that you can access by selecting a piece of code, then right clicking and using the Bito AI context menu, as well as you can use the keyboard shortcuts. These same shortcuts are available via the template section and shortcut buttons under it. Let me quickly select clean code, which removes the debug statements as well as comments from the piece of code that is selected. As you can see, Bito has generated the updated code and also opened a diff view where you can clearly see the changes suggested by Bito and you can keep what you want to keep. In the Bito panel, you can see the question, the answer, as well as a lot of shortcuts for copying code, inserting code, regenerating the answer, sharing the answer with your colleagues or friends to quickly get to things that you want to do. The conversation that you're having with Bito is known as a session and a conversation history is maintained on your machine by Bito, which can be accessed via the history button here. You can see all the conversations that you were having with Bito and you can go to any conversation at any given instance of time by clicking on that conversation. Let me go back to the conversation that I was at by clicking on it. There you go. That's how you use Beto. Thanks.